من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهد الله فهو المهتد ومن يدل فلا هادي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن محمدا أبله ورسوله اللهم صل على الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهد الله فهو المهتد ومن يدل فلا هادي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن محمدا أبله ورسوله اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها سوداء وبث من أمار جالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرهاب إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يتع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما موضوع على خطبتنا اليوم حول ضرورة الاستعداد للشهر رمضان ولأرفتم أن الشهر رمضان أن الشيام رمضان ركن من أركان الإسلام من أدمها من أدمه فقد أدم الإسلام لأن الإسلام لا يستقر إلا بأركانه خمسة. Our praise is due to Almighty Allah, who whom belong to men of heaven and heart. We give thanks to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. We adore His name. We see benediction of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We the peace and blessings of Allah be upon His servant. With his family and chosen companions, may Allah extend His glory and mercy to every one of us, insha Allah. Today, we want to look into the need to prepare for the month of Ramadan. That the Lord to the Israelites, the short Ramadan, the need to prepare for the month of Ramadan. So aware. At the month of Ramadan, Ramadan itself is one pillar out of the pillars of Islam that if does not farm, stand firm, we do not observe it correctly, the Islam will not be okay. When Adama U, Fakod Adama Islam, we have destroyed one pillar out of the pillars of Islam that destroyed the Islam. That's why we need to talk about preparation for this nobleman. This is necessary. This is the ninth month that we are looking upon. The ninth month of lunar month. The month that's full of blessings of Allah. The ninth month that the scholars of Islam have been given different names, like month of Allah, month of fasting, Month of Maghfirah, forgiveness. Month of Sobo, month of patience. 
month of Qiyam, we do a lot of nafila in the midnight, and a lot of names have been given for this month. The month is so great that we need to prepare for in order to welcome because of benefits that embedded in this new man of Ramadan. And Allah make it clear. He said vehemently in the Quran, vividly, to make it clear and manifest that Ramadan is obligation upon us. And when something is obligation, compulsion on us, the way we need to handle it will be different from others. Subarrogation, that is why it needs to be prepared for, become necessity. That is why, and I make it clear to every one of us, the normal ayah that we normally read, Ya ayu al ladina hamanu, utiba alikum shiya. The fasting has been prescribed for you. Prescribed for you. Made obligation upon you. So that you not joke with it at all. It's something that becomes imperative on you as a Muslim. And another fact, in, in the same chapter of the Quran, where Allah says, Faman shaida, min kumu sha'ara, Whoever witnesses, whoever is living during this noble man to fast in this month of Ramadan. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, a lot of our deeds uh, that is, we know that, that is worthy of preparing for. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, in the hadith narrated by Abu Uraira, and the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam called, Lama hadar al-Ramadan, wa di jayakum sharu mubarak, iftorada Allahu alaykum shriyama, tuftahu fi abu wabu al-jannah, وتغلق في أبواب الجحيم وتغل في إشاقين في ليلة خير من ألف شهر من أرمها من أرحم خيرها فد كرم فد حرم رواه أحمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم said in an authentic hadith that when Ramadan comes you face his audience and say God jaya akum shahr mubarak the most blessed man that has come to you. Allah has made the fasting in it an obligation upon you. In this month, Allah opens all the door to, Jan to the Jannah and also He closed the door of hellfire. To Kalufi Ishayati, the chain of the Shaitan and his companion who intend to distract you. the woman being from facing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you don't know, or you have forgotten, let me remind you, fi ilaylatun khayru min abisha. In that noble man is a night that is equal to 1,000 man. Man harama khayra, whoever been deprived of the mercy, of the benefit of this man, or the benefit of this night doesn't deny a Lord, deprive a Lord in his own life. So, it should be ringing in our hearing that Ramadan is full of benefits. The month itself is full of benefits. As you don't forget that this month there's a night that's equivalent to 1,000 months when you are able to mix that night. In another narration by Abu Uraira, قَالَ قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ وَسَلَّمْ قَالَ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلَّ كُلُّ أَمَلٍ بُنُ عَيَدَمْ لَوْ إِلَّا شِيَامٍ فَإِنَّ أُولِي وَأَنَّ أَجْسِيلِ فَشِيَامُ جُنَّةِ فَإِذَا كَانَ يَوْمُ شَوْمُ أَحْدِكُمْ فَلَا يَرْفَمْ وَلَا يَسْخَمْ فإن سابقوا أحد أو قاتله فيقول بل يقول إني صاحي والذي نفس بمحمد بيده لقلوب فم صاهم أتيب إن الله من ريء المسك بصاهم فرحان 
يفرحهما إذا أفطر فر أبي فطر فإذا لقي ربه فر بصوم متبقى عليه كنا أنا أبيف إت make it clear to us that the man is worthy of real preparation because we be able to set we able to make delay that's when we fall we need to determine our own program for that no woman rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that allah himself said that all the day of human being is for them whatever we do is for you we do that we do that just please allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <coughs> but the reward and the benefit will be for you he loves here except the past the man that we are looking up to the man of ramadan it's for me allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and i will reward you accordingly because all the days are tried to the world of ten, and you do one good thing to have the ten, up to seven. But the reward of Ramadan is uncutted, unlimited. That is what he said. Siyamuli wa an ajisibi. Samu Rabala is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you give for multiple rewards beyond your imagination, beyond your expectation, and the reward. Of man of Ramadan. The part of preparation now you start it. When you fast, when Ramadan comes, you have to avoid obscene language. We do talks, but blaspheme. Lie. All this need to be avoided. Get the true right before you say it. If you don't know anything, keep your mouth soft. So that you have the full reward of Ramadan. It, it should be in practice before Ramadan comes. You put it in practice. What is not concerned, you stop to it. What you don't see, don't behave that you see it. What you don't know, the deep. Down of it, you keep your mouth up and stop blaspheming, lie and backbiting with this order. You have to put it in practice now before Ramadan comes. So that, you, so that you, your reward will not be diminished. You get full reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not raise your voice when Ramadan comes. When you talk to the people, talk to them nicely. Talk to them humbly. فَإِنْ سَيَبَعُ أَحَدٌ أَوْ قَوْتَ لَأُوْ فَلْيَقْ إِنِّي صَوَاتِ You'll be pushed to fight in the Roman. Be careful. You'll destroy your reward. Be careful. Put it in practice from now. Don't destroy the reward that you are expect from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tell them I'm fasting. You provoke me, but I'm fasting. I'm fasting. I leave you for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You want to get the full reward of Ramada, put it in practice for God. I swear that whom the soul of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the breath of those who are fasting is whom better than the fragrance of the sky you see that breath when you talk that is the sign of paradise that is the sign of those who worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't think it is thinking to you no from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's even better the fragrance of mist, the best fragrance we can think of. Part of the reason that we need to prepare for Ramadan, the month of Ramadan and Ramadan itself, is that for whoever observes Ramadan, he experiences two happiness. One happiness is when one breaks.
breaks his fast or her fast. He said, Alhamdulillah, we'll be happy. And when we make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who will be among those who will be happy there, who will be warm welcome by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those who will be given the, the special treatment, they have their own gate of paradise on the day of resurrection. Nobody will take that food except them, those who fast the mantle from Adam when they are living. All this, because of these attributes, of Ramadan, we need to prepare for the month of Ramadan. <coughs> My brothers and sisters in faith, let us galvanize our efforts. Let us prepare for the month of Ramadan. It has become necessary to do so because of a lot of benefits that are in the month that of noble man. رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سنة حديث ثالثة بحبوه يا النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم ما صوم رمضان إيمانا واحتسابا غفر له ما تقدم شار غفر مطر أو شار غفر إيمان تو فقير whoever fast with full iman you save God your fast you don't you don't allow it to fall into a lot of mistakes you manage it well with full faith in Allah and hope, it is even how open Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the one that will reward you for it for Allah that says if your sin be free for sin you be forgiven it is not my life Mr. Furu Rabbakum in the book الحمد لله رب العالمين ولا عاقبة للمتقين ولا أدوانا إلا على ذلك. Give thanks to Allah سبحانه وتعالى for giving us this noble month and allow us to partake as Muslim in the month of Ramadan to fast. May Allah bless us for life for Insha Allah. Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم make it clear that. ما من عبد يصوم يوما في سبيل الله في سبيل الله. Whoever among the servants of Allah who perform, observe a fasting for the sake of Allah, that is, it requires ikhlas, sincerity, purely for Allah subhanahu wa taala. No denial of reward of it. No deception at all. What? For the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If it is that, Ba'ad Allah bithalik illa yawmi wa ja'u an nari sab'ina khalfa. Allah will make the person farther from hellfire like the space of 70 years for observing just only a day of Ramadan or any fasting. Fi sabi'ila. Ikhlas. We need pure ikhlas. Ikhlas ni. I conclude the uh, the talk with this hadith. Anna Nabiya sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Ma aftara yawman fi Ramadan fi ghir rahsa. Rahsa Allahu lahu lam yaqdi an al-shiyam dahar kun wa in sawma. Allah will finish. This is a warning for us. That's why we need to prepare. To prepare ourselves. But it is necessary for us to do the holiday. But it is necessary for us to do the timetable because of a lot of reward that the devil will sign the Quran when you do a lot of nawafi, when you, in fact, when you spend, when you do the iftar for the people, a lot of the work, you see people, they galvanize their effort in Ramadan to attract good reward. But the one is this. That's why we need to prepare ourselves. We need to take medication before the Ramadan take it. But if you are not allowed to pass because of the issue that you have, Exception case. That's exception case. But for those who have the ability and have everything to perform Ramadan and break Ramadan, Rasulullah says there is no payment that you can do that you fulfill for the day you miss in the month of Ramadan. 
هذا حديث ترهيب ترهيب للناس جميعا There is no way you can compensate that day that you miss in Ramadan. So that is why we need to get ourselves ready. We need to get ourselves prepared. We need to get the good food. Don't eat dumb food on it over there. Buy nice food, food, vegetable, everything. I to give you everything, all the nutrition that you need. صوت أو عامة أو سر أو علانية لك الحمد بالإسلام ولك الحمد بالإيمان ولك الحمد بالقرآن ولك الحمد بالمال والأهل والمعافاة كبت عدونا وأظهرت أمننا وجمعت فرقتنا ومن كل ما سألناك ربنا أعطيتنا فلك الحمد كثيرا كما تنعم كثيرا ولك 